Hi, I'm Paul Pasulka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. Today we're going to look at test 3, section 4, number 12, which reads, and the function f has five distinct zeros. Which of the following could represent the complete graph of f in the xy plane? So here's what you need to know for this problem. If you know this, it's a very simple question, which is a zero equals it equals an x-intercept. And that's all you need to know for this problem. For another problem, you might see it called a root, or you might see it called a solution. We're going to have to do a little scrolling here. But in answer choice A, let's see how many x-intercepts there are. x-intercepts are whenever the line crosses the x-axis. Answer choice A is 1, 2, 3, 4. Answer choice B one, two, three, four. We need five, so it's neither of those. Got to do a little scrolling here. Answer choice C. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's not going to be it either. It must be D. One, two, three, four. It touches and five. Answer choice D is your answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who has trouble with or gets intimidated by seeing a crazy graph like this. It's really simple as long as you know simply that a zero is an x-intercept. You could also leave their name in the comments to tag them. If there's any video you'd like to see shot for any official SAT or PSAT or ACT, leave that in the comments as well. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day, everybody.